All right, so since the video didn't work yesterday, we're gonna do a reintroduction to the e-collar. So, see, no negative feelings. Um, turn it on. So the nice thing is if you close the little ports here, as I'll show you, it's completely waterproof, so he can swim, which is nice. And his fur is so short, you're probably not gonna have issues making sure it's in contact with the skin. Um, the way you know if it's tight enough is if you, when you move the box, the skin moves with it. So it should be very tight because it needs to remain in contact with the skin, otherwise it doesn't work. And that's probably the hardest thing about using the e-collar is just that it needs to be, um, it's hard to know if the, it's making good contact sometimes. Why are you crying? I'll just tell you what to do. Good. Um, so basically with the e-collar, we're gonna find his working level. Um, and that just means the lowest level that he responds to. So the way we do that, I'm going to raise my hand when I am hitting the button. Typically start around like a three or two or something like that. So I'll let him get distracted free. And all we're looking for is any small difference, like could be, well, I wanna make sure that he's actually in the frame so you can see what's going on. Yeah, I think he felt that. He kind of looked around when I hit the button. I think he does. So, uh, try a two. No, I don't really see anything with the two. So, basically, we're just going to teach him that e collar equals yes equals treat. So, So he has no idea what this odd sensation means. Yes. So I'm backing up, saying yes when he comes to me and giving him the treat. And he knows they're all in this pocket here. <laughs> yes. Lovely, nice drool you got there. So I'm still holding it, yes. Yes. So he is figuring out that um, he needs to look at me when yes. He's a smart dog. And I give him the treat right off of my leg because I want him to come right up to me. Yes. I need to correct myself because I'm so used to walking all the dogs on the left. Um, it's perfectly fine to walk him on the right. So we're just practicing step one, just having him so calmly sit because um, he was having some issues with it. So if your dog is struggling with something, you can't really be worried about like, okay, well, I want to walk to this stop sign or whatever. You have to just sort of meet them where they are. Like he may not be able to do that um, in that state or in the like mental state that he's in. So 
he's pretty calm. He actually just saw a dog pass on the other side of the street, didn't care whatsoever. Like his hackles weren't up. He didn't really show any noticeable change um, in his demeanor. So that's great. Just watching someone cross the street. His mouth is open, he's smelling, that's good. Those are signs that he's relaxed. I'm like taking in information, looking at some birds. We also have geese in this neighborhood, so we can, uh, oh, good boy, love that relaxation. All right, let's go. So I'm not sure if that was in frame or not, but you know how he kind of like nudges you and tries to get in your space? You should kind of make sure that you're the one saying, no, we're going here. This is my space. This is your space. Um, Cause that's a little bit of a tiny protest. Do you see the resistance here? Like. He does not want to follow my program right now. He wants to look over there and see whatever's happening. So I just keep everything the same. Like kind of had the attitude that compliance is inevitable, whether it takes four seconds or four hours, like I don't care. So a big key towards reducing reactivity to different things is just making the decisions for your dog, um, kind of like it went over in that leadership uh, PDF. So you could see like he wants to mark on those bushes, um, but I want it to be my idea when he goes to sniff and go potty and all that stuff. I'm going to give him the chance. I'm going to be fair about it, but it's not going to be every single bush or like every single thing that he could possibly sniff. Okay, free. Free. But this is how it should be. He should be following you. But I'm going to have my hand right here, pretty close. So that if he was to decide that he wanted to get way ahead or veer out to the side or um, go eat some squirrels or whatever, um, then I can respond very quickly. I don't want to have to wait until he's six feet away to correct him because that's not where I want him to be. I want him to be in this little bubble right here.